and I'm kindly requesting you that to be with me until the end of this analysis. And before that one, uh, just do for me a favor of liking my videos. Thank you so much for that like. So ladies and gentlemen, Kenyans got shocked against regarding the Shagwa impeachment motion that have already been tabled in the parliament and the MPs are going to listen to it on early next week on Tuesday. But yesterday, Kenyan shocked of another meeting between the Deputy President Riyadh Gashagwa and President William Samoy Ruto, where Gashagwa alleged banned the table on his boss in Chia Anga after Ruto denied him 8 billion shillings for him to exit from Kenya Kwanzaa government and to resign as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Following the sharp differences between the uh, two is said to be at the center of the uh, charge that will be revealed against Gashagwa on the floor of the National Assembly coming next Tuesday. That is next week that, uh, that I've just explained to you that uh, the MPs are going to start it clearly signing off regarding Gashagwa impeachment motion because I find talking to you right now 300 MPs have now united to sign uh, the impeachment motion against the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. So according to that 8 billion shilling that Rigadi Gashaga want before he exit from the Kenya Kwanzaa government is being that Rigadi Gashaga said that William Samoruto received some of the high votes from the Mount Kenya region and Rigadi Gashaga have calculated the votes that William Samoruto get from the Mount Kenya region and uh, that is where that 8 billion is coming from. After William, after Rigadi Gashago have been denied some of the privileges that he should be getting from Kenya Kwanzaa government. As you can remember what happened to Rigadi Gashago uh, some days back where he was being denied to aboard a military chopper and even to walk on a red carpet. Rigadi Gashago have been denied some privileges here and there since uh, uh, Kimani Chungwa started attacking Rigadi Gashagwa or since they started having a follow fallout between Rigadi Gashagwa and his boss. And before I continue, I just wanted to listen to full information from NTV where they analyze it details by details on how Rigadi Gashagwa want to exit from Kenya Kwanzaa government and also resign from the office. Watch this video. We begin in politics tonight where an alleged meeting between Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa and President William Ruto where DP Gashagwa allegedly banged the table on his boss in sheer anger after Ruto denied him an 8 billion shilling exit package following sharp differences between the two is said to be at the center of charges that will be leveled against Gashagwa at the floor of the National Assembly next Tuesday. Now, NTV has learned that there are nine other charges in the 40-page impeachment motion that is now ready for tabling. Among them, Gashagwa's use of his office to allegedly divert material that should have been used to construct the Malindi to Kilifi Highway to the construction of a private road leading to a hotel in Kilifi that is linked to him, as well as Gashagwa's accumulation of 5.7 billion shillings in the last two years from other sources, apart from his annual salary of 12 million shillings. NTV's political affairs reporter David Mudoga digs deep into Gashagwa's impeachment motion and for the first time tells you 10 reasons why MPs want to hang Gashagwa out to dry. In 72 hours, the fate of Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa will be in the hands of members of parliament. An unprecedented impeachment motion against the country's second in command is expected to be tabled at the floor of the National Assembly on Tuesday afternoon by one of the over 300 members of parliament who endorsed Gashagwa's historic removal from office. While the week-long drafting of the 40-page motion has been a closely guarded affair, NTV has managed to peruse some of the pages of the motion and spoken to a number of lawmakers privy to it in an attempt to identify the charges that will form the grounds for Gashagwa's impeachment. The motion has up to 10 charges, top among them being Gashagwa allegedly threatened his boss, 
President William Bruto. Gashagwa is accused of literally banging the desk in sheer anger at a meeting with his boss after Ruto denied him 8 billion shillings that Gashagwa had asked for to walk away and pave the way for Ruto to appoint his replacement after their relationship turned sour. NTV has been told that Gashagwa arrived at 8 billion shillings after multiplying each vote that Ruto got in the Mount Kenya region in 2022 with 4,000 shillings. The second charge is Gashagwa has allegedly accumulated billions of shillings in the past two years that he has been at Harambe House Annex through corruption. In the charge, Gashagwa is accused of allegedly acquiring up to 5.7 billion shillings in just a couple of years, yet his salary per year is 12 million shillings, meaning in the past two years he should have made around 24 million shillings. The third charge that is likely to be leveled against Gashagwa is use or abuse of his office to allocate public resources to himself. Under the charge, Gashagwa is accused of allegedly diverting material that should have been used to construct the Malindi to Kilifi Highway to the construction of a private road leading to a hotel in Kilifi that is linked to him. Other charges that are likely to be leveled against the deputy president include sponsoring goons to disrupt the John, July and August Gen Z demonstrations, thus posing a threat to national security, leaking state secrets despite taking an oath of secrecy, as well as intimidating, threatening and publicly slating leaders and state officials such as some members of parliament and most notably National Intelligence Service Director General Nudin Haji. More charges include promoting tribalism through his shareholder and one man, one vote, one shilling narratives, as well as publicly opposing some of the government policies and cabinet decisions. Following these accusations and others, some members of parliament are convinced that Gashagwa having meteorically rose from a first-time MP to the second most powerful seat in the country, has had a great run. Other leaders want Gashagwa taken to a court of law. Should he be impeached? Ukabila ni kitu mzuri ama ni mbaya? Sizi wote tulani ukabila? Tulasema shetani yafanya na mnagani? Kenya hayuesi kuwa kabila moja. Kenya hayuesi kuwa mtu moja. Kenya ni asisi wote. Wewe ulipepa Biblia, ukadanganya Mungu, eh Mwenyezi Mungu, nisaidie. To run the government. And then you start contradicting the government policies and yet you sit in the cabinet. You sit in the National Security Committee and you create a departure. You should be arrested. Akuna inji there's no any country that can tolerate a such a person. David Muthoka, NTV. So ladies and gentlemen, that is what is happening in that video and don't forget to like my videos because by doing that one, you will be showing me a great support and let us meet the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly within no time. And don't forget to share our videos so that it can reach to many people as much as possible. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Let us meet the next video.